Hello and welcome to my short guide on basic combat mechanics in Mortal Online 2. I'm Zephysis. Thanks for checking out my channel. So in Mortal Online 2, there are attacks and there are blocks. Um, there are no dodges. There are parries, however, and reposts. Um, so there's four different attack directions. It's going to be uh, overhead. It's going to be a thrust. And then it's going to be right and left swings as such. So you see on my center uh, cursor here, a little white circle that charges up. It eventually flashes. I believe the most damage that your character can inflict is after that white circle flashes. But for the most effective and efficient DPS, I think it's uh, just as well to wait until the circle fills and then uh, release your attack. And then it's the same for blocks. There's uh, a block against thrusts which is, you see my hammer handle is kind of just in the middle of the screen. There's a block for overhead attacks, where the handle is pretty high up. And then there's a block for right and a block for left as well. Uh, when you successfully block an attack, uh, you will have, I believe, two seconds to uh, repost that attack off of a parry. And it'll actually say in the combat log on the lower left-hand screen, if you parry, um, after you successfully parry, if you just click the direction that you want to attack immediately, you will inflict the full amount of damage of that attack as if you had charged it. Um, so it is important to make sure that you're blocking and getting your parries as well. Um, and then most importantly, I think, uh, you know, combat is kind of easy to learn, hard to master in this game. Uh, your spacing matters, uh, you know, how short or long your weapon is, um, how far away you are from the NPC or player that you're trying to attack. And, you know, I come from, um, you know, games where movement is pretty critical to combat. Um, so the controls that you have set, I think, are quite important to your play style. Uh, I'll show you in the settings here. If you go to gameplay, you'll have your mouse sensitivities and then your click drag and drag click sensitivities as well. What all of this means basically is um, you can set the keybinds for your attacks on the movement keys or on the mouse. I have them set on the movement keys because it feels more natural to me. And what that means is if I uh, click right strafe like I just did and then hold block, I will block uh, on my right side like this if I do the opposite I block on my left side now what this allows me to do is kind of stay mobile as I'm blocking um, and that way I'm not just a sitting duck I'm not a sitting target you know PVE it's not going to matter as much because the NPCs basically just stand there right now unless the aggro is um, taken by another player uh, but with PVP you know, moving around and blocking as well as setting up your next attack is, is quite important. So that's why I have them set to the movement keys. Um, now the mouse is also an option for you. You will uh, be able to drag your mouse in a direction and then that will determine what attack direction you perform. Uh, I've tried all three different settings. I find the movement keys to be my favorite, but you may prefer the mouse movement as well. And there's two different mouse settings. It's where you click the attack or block and then drag in the direction you want to attack or the block, or it's drag the direction you want to attack or block and then click. It's all preference, guys. I'm using the movement. It feels more natural. It allows me to uh, move as I'm blocking and attacking. Um, and I'm just not good with the mouse directions I found. Also, you may want to change your click and drag sensitivities. I found the sensitivity of the overall game to be a little high, so I just lowered everything to 50. Um, and I think that about covers it. The only other thing that I haven't mentioned yet is if you want to, and this is you know, primarily for PvP, if you want to cancel an attack, uh, I believe it's set to control for default. So if you're fighting another player and you want to feint an overhead attack, 
they're going to start blocking overhead because they see your animation, but then you can cancel with control and not waste any stamina. You know, if I want to faint a left and then go overhead, I can do that. But I think what I'm going to do right now is just show you um, some basics on the combat. I'll pull a bandit here. We'll fight one so you can kind of see the flow of combat, with, at least with an NPC. I'm going to go ahead and prep an overhead attack as he's running towards me. Got some good damage there. He's blocking overhead. I block to my right. I block a thrust attack. And he's dead. And that is kind of the combat basics in a nutshell in this game. I hope this has helped. Um, I know when I first started playing, it took me a while to get used to the combat. Um, it's not as intuitive as I thought it was going to be. Um, it's much more immersive and uh, uh, just... You know, obviously, being in a first-person view, it feels a lot different than many other games. But anyways, I hope this has helped. I know those game settings, as far as the controls, really helped me when I discovered that in the settings menu. Play around with the different uh, control binds and see which one works best for you. Um, and thanks for watching my video. Take care. Hey guys, one thing I almost forgot to mention in the video is if you do decide to use the movement keys for your attack and block style, um, it may also be an easier option for you to go into the actual keybind settings and under combat you'll find a thrust and an overhead attack. Um, I'm using a Razer Naga with the uh, buttons on the side of the mouse, so I've assigned my thrust and my overhead attack to the uh, keys four and five so I could click those buttons and then perform the attack or the block for a thrust or overhead uh, easy that way while moving around. So just didn't want to leave that out in case somebody does want to go with the movement uh, style keybinds. Um, so that's it. Thank you.